All right, we made it. We're in Pittsburgh. Make you, make you mind, aye, aye. Let go get a passport and take a trip, ay. I don't see no competition, you the shit, bae. I ain't tripping, I'ma show you how to flip cake. Just for you, I might just keep it on my hip spray. I just wanna take you with me to the tip top. Why you always in the mood? shoot for the next couple days uh, she gotta get up early well I gotta run to Sephora and get her Did something I... she forgot okay so today we woke up and then my mom called me and we needed my mom to like check in on karma every like like every day that we're gonna be gone and everything so she like wanted to like come over and stuff and like see me before we left and everything and she called me and like we were literally still in bed at like four o'clock when she called me and she was like yeah well i have to take carly to get her nails done at like five o'clock and then like i'll be over then and i was like okay so i figured i would do my makeup and everything and then like pack everything so that when she, when she came over like we could just go as soon as she left but i needed brush cleaner because i need to clean my brushes in between clients and everything so I was like, all right, well, we'll just get it on the way. Like thinking that Sephora was only get, like, was gonna be open till nine. Well, they close at seven. And we didn't leave until like, what, eight o'clock? Yep. We left at like eight. And I was like, all right, great. So I thought maybe like a Sephora here would be open. They're not, but they open at 11 tomorrow. So I'm gonna get there at like 1030. Um, Cause I could just clean my brushes tonight just a little bit and then like that way they'll be clean for like the first client like the first client's probably gonna take me like an hour 45 minutes to an hour so that gives Corey time to run over to Sephora get me brush cleaner etc yeah so I'm doing all of her chores for her it's tomorrow. one chore it's we had to go to Walmart too yeah because listen okay so I took my acrylics off because I needed a new set but I didn't have enough money to pay for them to take off my acrylics for me and then get a whole new set that'd be like a hundred dollars right there like so i took them off myself and i had some accidents on the way and my like nail split all the way down and i did that thing where you use like a like a tea bag and you put nail glue on it and it like hardens and it like acts as like a nail okay well that only lasted me like a day <laughs> so it was like falling off so i was like we need to get like i need something because if that like catches on something while i'm doing makeup it is gonna be so painful like so painful so i was like we need to go to walmart and get like glue on nails so i did and these are them they look good i think they look good for the price they were like five dollars they were just like the stick on ones, like you didn't need glue for it, but I got glue anyways, just like, cause like I'm gonna be using my hands all day tomorrow. So like, I'm gonna need something, well, for the next two days. So I was like, I need something, you know? And they're like shorter, but they're nice. I like them, so. What? We came to Pittsburgh a day early. Yeah. We wasn't gonna come tonight, but we didn't want to wake up at 7 a.m. and drive the whole way here. Cause I, I texted the girl, um, earlier today and I was like you know what time should I be there tomorrow and she was like like 10 30 11 and I'm thinking to myself like holy shit so I was like I'm gonna have to wake up early to do my makeup pack up all my makeup get all of our stuff ready to stay at the hotel and at his brothers and stuff I was like there's no way we'd have to get up at like seven o'clock in the morning to be there by 11 at least like there's absolutely no way so I was like why don't we just like go to Pittsburgh tonight stay in the hotel tonight and then like get a hotel closer to where we're doing it, which is the flashlight factory. And um, then that way I only have to get up at like nine. I can do my makeup and everything. It's only like what, like 
five minutes. Five minute drive, 10 minute drive, yeah. depending on traffic. I was like, it just makes more sense. Um, so yeah, we came a day early. The drive here was fun. No, it wasn't. It was so much fun. I, get, I got such bad anxiety. I hate driving at night in general. It was, and then it started snowing, but it wasn't bad. just snow. It like, was a mix. It was like snow and rain. Like yeah. it was not fun at all. It wasn't bad until like traffic started. Like of course that's when it's gonna get bad. So I was driving, it was snowing a little bit, and then it really started coming down, and then it was just snow. So like I was like, all right, I can deal with it. Then it starts raining too. Then I'm sitting there stressing. I'm telling you, it said 18 minutes to go for like five minutes, and then it was it was just all bad. Our anxiety was bad. I almost crashed into the back yes. of the car. Oh my god, we were like we were driving to Walmart. Was it to Walmart or no? That Walmart? Uh, oh, I almost crashed twice. Cause remember, we was coming into Pittsburgh and I almost rear-ended that car. And you're oh, like, baby, baby. Yeah. And then like, I got to car, the side. Like, this car, I don't know if it's brake light was out or what, but like it was driving, but it was going so slow. And like, you couldn't see the brake light. So I don't know if they, I, I don't know what the fuck was going on, but Corey was not paying attention at all. And I was like, like we were literally about to crash. And then we Sorry, were- Sorry, mom, if you watch this. I'm a good driver promise anyways and then we were um coming back from walmart or going to walmart i don't know it was, it was coming back when we had the stop sign because that's after i got my mcdonald's yeah we were like it was like this really weird like intersection like so like we had a stop sign like we were coming this way and there was just like a straight road and like it, there was a stop sign and Corey was like stop like why and then this car starts flying past us he wasn't gonna stop but oh my god something told me to stop because like we was leaving McDonald's and Walmart. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> so we were leaving and then like, there's like the exit we took, but it had like two different exits on the exit, if that makes sense. So like one way is going this way and then the next one goes like above it. So like as soon as the exit stopped, it had a stop sign and I was confused cause like you could barely even see the road coming around. I thought it was telling me to stop for like the drivers going the opposite way. So I was like, why stop? <laughs> and like, I wasn't gonna stop. I really wasn't, but like, sorry mom again. But like something told me to stop. And like, as soon as I got like, cause I, I inched out a little too far, but this car just come flying. And like, I was, I was shook for like a good five minutes. Yeah. I, I was like, I was telling her, I was like, I really thought, like, I would, like, if I wouldn't have stopped, we would have been deep in shit, like. And then he so. hit a raccoon, or he almost hit almost a raccoon. Almost hit a raccoon, too, on the way here. When we were, like, in Newcastle. Yeah, so, like, oh my goodness, that was not a good drive. <laughs> that could have, like, there was something, but God saved us. He dodged every bullet. <laughs> yes. yeah, I just don't think it was our time. It was bad, though. I hate driving at night. I hate driving in the city, and I hate driving at any precipitation. And then and he's all like, three. he's like all like freaking out and everything, cause like he's nervous to drive and shit like that at night in the city when it's like snowing, raining, whatever. And I just hate city driving. He's period. in like his fucking mood and shit, and like he just makes me so nervous when he's like upset about something. Like he makes me nervous. Like, I just don't like the fucking vibes at all. Like, I just, I hate it. I hate it so much. So like, he's nervous and shit, and then I'm getting nervous cause he's fucking nervous. And like, we're both just like, not having it. Silent, like. <laughs> like the raccoon wasn't my fault, first of all. But no, I it wasn't it. your fault. And then the second one wasn't really my fault either. Cause like, I passed this truck cause he was going so slow and I've seen Final Destination. So like, I'm not trying to be on the like shit end of that stick. So <laughs> I passed it and like, I'm still going. And like, this car is going the same speed as me for like a good 20 seconds. And, like I look over at her <coughs> for some reason. And then like, I'm coming up on this car and I'm like, there's no way this thing slowed down like that. So that's why I think his brake lights were on. She's like, baby, baby. So that's why like, I swerved. That wasn't my fault. The stop sign would have been my fault though but it wasn't because I made the decision to stop. So all three of that was really not my fault. <laughs> really wasn't, but yeah. So anyways, this is the first part of the vlog. 
The next part gonna be her doing makeup. See y'all on the flip. Stay tuned. Wapa. <laughs> you don't like that? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> At like five o'clock, but um, we didn't end up getting to shoot a YouTube video with my brother and his girlfriend because she got like no sleep over the weekend. But she got like no sleep over the weekend, but we did get some. Um, Whose fault was that? It was my fault. <laughs> but um, we ended up going to my brother's one night till like four in the morning, and then she had to get up early for the makeup. And she was doing makeup for 12 hours on a Saturday. And then we got back to my brother's because we ended up staying there the last night. And um, uh, we went to bed early because she was uh, yeah, like two, which is early to us. But um, we ended up just going to sleep. And we're going to go back there at some point and shoot video with them. But the weekend was just crazy, especially for her. She had to do a lot of makeup and, um, but we did end up doing a boudoir photo shoot. Boudoir. Boudoir photo shoot. And, mm -hmm. um, so we got some pictures. I'm gonna put it like one or two of them up here, just like sneak peek of some of the pictures we got, but they're gonna, um, get sent to us a little before Valentine's Day. <laughs> so we did get that done. We got a little photo shoot of us done and then um, she got some pictures too. She ended up doing like 25 people's makeup. And um, I know it was a tiring weekend so we didn't really shoot much at all. So um, we're gonna be doing more travel vlogs. We're gonna be doing Florida in about a month and a half. And then we're gonna be doing Vancouver and wherever else we choose to go throughout time. Like my body hurts. Like I did makeup on Saturday for 12 hours off of like three and a half hours of sleep. Yeah, she um she only got like seven hours sleep the whole weekend until oh last night. Then we ended up sleeping 12 hours. We slept from like 2 a.m. to like 2.30 p.m. Cause like Thursday night, by the time we got to the hotel, it was like, what, 10.30? And then we had, or no, 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 no cap. Was like, it was like 9.30. Yeah. And then we got to the hotel, we got our, like all of our stuff, and then we had to run to Walmart. So by the time we got back home, it was like, or back to the hotel, it was like 11 o'clock. And then, you know, we both had to shower and stuff like that. And then uh, we filmed a little bit that night too. We had some other stuff we had to do. I had to clean all my brushes at like two, two o'clock in the morning. And then like we laid down to go to sleep and I just like wasn't tired. So I ended up, cause we were in bed until like four o'clock on Thursday. At least. We didn't so, go to bed till like five, I think. Yeah, we didn't end up going to bed until almost like 5.30. And then as we were like falling asleep at like five o'clock, the fucking hotel alarm went off. Like the, ho like the hotel like alarm, you know what I mean? Like the ones that sit on the bedside, whatever. It went off. So that like woke me back up and everything. And then I got up at like 8.30, fell back asleep because I had time. And then I woke up at 9.30 and I was supposed to be there at 10.30 and I was freaking out. Like, cause I had to do my makeup, do my hair, get all my shit together and then drive there. Um, I think we were only there till like 8.30. So I was there for like eight and a half hours that day. Longer than that, you got no. there at like- 10, 10, 10. hours, yeah. So like 10, 11 hours, something like that. And then um, I just chilled at the hotel all day. And then I went there at like five or six and we got our photos taken. It was just a long night for me. And then after that is when we went to my brother's till 4 a.m. Mm -hmm. 
when she lives outside Pittsburgh. So we had to drive like another 30 minutes back. Me. She had to drive another 30 minutes back. And then we didn't even get to bed till like six. Yeah, and, and then, then I woke up, up again. at like 10.30 and I had to be there at 11. So I was like rushing, rushing. I woke up late and I was so tired and my body hurts. We slept at his brother's last night. We fell asleep at like two o'clock and we did not wake up. Or no, we like, it was like 2.30. We woke up at like 2.30 2 <laughs> the next day. I'm just happy we're home. We're gonna do more videos this week. We're gonna go back to my brother and his girlfriends We're probably within the next few weeks. Shoot a video, actually spend a weekend with them because she was so busy all weekend with the I makeup. I felt so bad and I was so tired too, like the whole time. So, yeah, but we're gonna end the first travel vlog here and um, we're gonna do more videos and keep releasing consistently and just keep coming up with new ideas. So I wanna try doing a Smacker Facts challenge oh my this God. week. But we're gonna end the vlog here. Like, subscribe, spread the word, and we'll see you on the flip.